Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the video. Today, we're gonna be talking about a glitch. An exploit. Um, I don't know the proper term for it, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's a... It's a glitch, but it can be exploited. So it's a, it's both, okay? You know what I mean? So, honestly, I'm assuming that most of you know what this exploit glitch is. I, I think most of you have seen or heard of this at least like once before. So the entire glitch, the exploit, it's basically at the simplest way to define it. What it is, is like it's covering the mastery amulet that you have. And what I mean by covering is you see like this little like sparkle that's like flying around me right now, how it kind of like goes around your head, all that. I'll even change the color. I put on a storm one that might be a little bit easier to see as you can see it flies around. Basically, what that does is it lets other people know that you have a mastery amulet on it. If you have a, a purple one, very obviously you're going to have a storm one on. If you have a blue one, it's going to be ice, etc, etc. But I'm going to show you guys a way to cover this, to cover the mastery amulet that basically gives it away that you are using a mastery amulet. So as an alumni way to the destination that you need to perform this glitch, I, the, I just want to say the reason that I'm making this video is because it's very annoying. It, it, like, PvP recently, because of all of these new, like, PvP Mastery Amulets, and just even Mastery Amulets at low level and, and questing, and I don't think people use them in PvE, but just in general, right? It's very important that you basically have a Mastery Amulet in Wiz, what, what, no matter your level. If you're max, if you're low level, whatever it is, it's really, really helpful to have one. But specifically because of PvP, because these master amulets are actually like meant for PvP now, because they're they're encouraged to use these master amulets, the fact that there's a glitch to, to hide this and give yourself an advantage that nobody knows about is stupid. All right, so the easiest place to perform this glitch is right here in Istanboa. You just use like it's a mirage. You use this thing to get here. It's literally it's literally right here. And basically, where you saw me going before was in Polaris, and that is where you don't want to go. And I'll explain that in just a second. But anyways. Basically, how I perform this glitch, let me get off my mount so you can see the Mastery Amulet little aura thing flying around. If I go up to this guy named Destructo Uctor, what I can buy from this guy is a Drommel Dancer transformation. Now, this is very cheap. This is literally why it's the easiest It's the easiest way to perform this glitch. And how you perform the glitch, actually, is um you, you do this. And, um, yeah, that's it. So basically, now that you're in this transformation, as you can very obviously see, you cannot see a Mastery Amulet Aura. And that's a problem. That's not intentional. So this is literally what the entire video is about. It's about people using this transformation to hide their aura, giving themselves an advantage that other people aren't taking. It's either that other people don't want to do it, other people just forget to do it, or other people don't care enough. And quite honestly, this glitch, this exploit, isn't really that big of a deal. But I do think it's something that for the sake of Wizard 101, it just shouldn't be allowed in PvP. Now moving on to what I did mention before, was the bear transformation that you do get from Polaris. If I just unequip this here, right, I, I put on, I, I go to the bear one, as you can see, this one is no PvP. This transformation is the only transformation in the game that is no PvP. If I have this on, I cannot go into a PvP match with this. I literally can't. But if you go to the crown shop, all of these can be used in PvP for some reason. It literally doesn't matter what transformation you use. Any transformation, basically, will completely just not show your mastery amulet. And I think that's kind of dumb. Now, honestly, I'm praying. And when I say praying, I really do mean I'm praying that everyone watching this video does not do this because it's annoying and you're kind of a loser if you do this. I'm just saying. But now that we're at the end of this video, I do want to know from you guys if you think this is something that should be removed from PvP. If if all of the transformations should be marked to no PvP, whatever it is. I kind of want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this because I've ran into a a numerous amount of people who are running into pvp with these transformations and i just can't tell if they have a mastery amulet on and it's just annoying because of how good they are like i i can throw on a blade or something or like i'm fighting a balance and i don't stun block but then they like stun me a bunch of weird stuff like that right it literally is kind of a a, a dumb glitch that doesn't really matter all that much but i think it's just something as i said before that it's a small thing it's a small thing that in the right like situation it can be really really annoying and um please rapier my guess is you're watching this please make them no pvp please I i'm done though i'm i'm gonna end the video in like five seconds i really don't got much else to say um yeah